All right, and welcome back to The Rip, episode 37. I'm Vince, of course, and uh, we're back finally with the podcast. It's been a long time. Obviously, it's been two weeks. Not just these past two weeks. I've just been, uh, honestly, really busy. Um, we've been really, like, focusing a lot on the channel. Like, if you watch, obviously. Um, I've been focusing, like, a lot on, like, the TV shows. Like, certain ones, when they come out, like, if it's going to take over my week, I might cut back in certain areas and this and like my like outgoing videos which obviously don't do as well i do these because i have i have fun doing these that's why so i still want to but sometimes just it's just overwhelming for me to do it so but anyways we're back obviously this week um it's great obviously to talk it's just me today obviously things fell through a little bit but i'm always happy to talk to y'all for a bit just discuss some things and stuff and just talk right obviously that's what we're uh, we're here for and stuff um I think I'd be remiss to uh, not mention, obviously, what's going on in the world right now. And obviously, I'm not a heavy political guy. I don't. I really don't like politics. Uh, I'm a guy where it's like I love. I love sports. I just love being in a good mood. Just be happy. Just just chill. Like you, you know, if you watch this channel, I'm on the lighthearted side. This is not anything I'm analyzing or anything like that. I usually just share my opinion, and I'm not trying to be an expert or anything. There's certain things I'm an expert with, right? Like I love. Like, I love football. Like, I grew up playing that and stuff. But that's, like, different, right? But as I was saying, uh, just the world right now, what we're in right now, obviously, Russia and, and Ukraine, obviously, it, things have escalated, obviously, to the point where Ukraine's being attacked as we speak right now. Obviously, this is uh, 3 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday. Um, so it might be night, but still going on. Um, so I, I really feel for the people uh, of Ukraine and, uh, and the people of Russia, the actual people, um, obviously, because this is Putin's uh, complete, uh, just him. It's all him, right, obviously, at the end of the day. And um, it just, uh, it, it bothers me, honestly. It does. The people of Ukraine are, are generally very nice people. But I've, I've seen, like, I, I don't want to see war anywhere, right? And I feel like if, the, if they allow this to happen in Ukraine, they allow Russia to take to take them, it's going to it's gonna open up the doors, obviously, with China and everything. And... It's something you just don't want to see. Obviously, I um, I get worried thinking about it. Honestly, it's just uh, I know I'm out here, obviously in Toronto, Canada, um, far away from this war has never been on our soil. Like Canada, there's never been any war ever, like ever, and um, we're very obviously grateful for that. But eventually, that that might change. Unfortunately, I I, I pray not, but you never know nowadays. And just the way the world is now, nothing surprised me. And just, especially we just got out of a pandemic and stuff. And you're hearing this like war shit. And it's like, you don't want to see any of this, man. This is Putin's ego at all time high. And I know back when I was in high school, they were trying to take Crimea, I remember, or something like that. And just, I guess it's just slowly escalated over time. And then now they're finally like trying to do that. It's just uh, unfortunate to see. I hate it. Um, it bothers me, but it is. But. I do want to also say, man, like, just the media is just fucking ridiculous, man. I've heard, like, Ukrainian, um, like, African Africans not being able to leave the country and how racist that is. And I don't want to, like, shy away from that either. That's fucking bullshit, right? So I don't agree with that either, man, honestly. I think uh, hearing that really upsets me, too, um, that it's even happening. And, and the media kind of only cares about Ukraine now. And when there's been war going on, like, the U.S. sends airstrikes, like, almost daily to Somalia and... All these other play like Syria and stuff, like other other people throwing strikes there. So it's like, what the hell are we talking about here? And obviously, what's happening in Ukraine? What the fuck? Like, I don't like, I don't want to see that. But there's still shit going on everywhere. Like they act like that's not happening. That guy's not happening. It's almost like because it's like it's almost like because it's European, white, and stuff, and they feel like that's that's the only thing that matters. Not civilized, right? So that's awful. And obviously, I, you know, I I, I want to. Obviously, try and get that out there through my little platform that I have just to continue to spread that because people just don't, like, you know, understand. It's just, uh, like, anybody that's being affected by war, they don't, like, there shouldn't be war anywhere, period. Like, period, it shouldn't be happening at the end of the day. And it bothers me. It's just something you just don't want to see. And I really pray for everybody. I hope war stops in Ukraine. I hope Ukraine gets through it. Some good people there as well. But I hope, like... Like that, like I hope, like it stops everywhere else too. Like war everywhere is a is is a threat to to peace everywhere, right? So I, I thoroughly believe that. I don't know who made up that quote, but it's uh, it's facts, man. Honestly, and um, it scares me. Obviously, even just back to the Ukraine part. Um, I know 
I know China has wanted to take Taiwan for a while, and and I think like if Russia takes Ukraine or if we allow it to happen, um, Taiwan's gonna get taken over too. So I, I don't want to see that and stuff and just <sighs> you you can't have a World War Three. You can't like there's no way. If there was a war three, everybody would just blow up everybody. It would just be done. Everybody's dead. That's it. Okay, a few people left over maybe. I don't know. Because think about it. Like Hiroshima and stuff. Like, well, what do you think happened back then with the nuclear bombs? Look what happened, right? Exactly. And now everybody's got them. U.S. might have more than Russia. Russia might have more, have more than the U.S. China, whatever. I don't know. But at the end of the day, like, they're fucking... It's going to happen, right? Like, obviously, like, everybody would die, right? It's not boots on the ground anymore. It's not Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like, this is different. It's a different times now. So, nuclear airstrikes are a thing. And at the end of the day, it's just something you don't want to see. So, I, I'm totally against it. Obviously, pretty obvious. Um, I just hope that, you know, we're on the other side of this stuff. And it's just like, I don't know. It's It bothers me, man. Because I, I just want peace, right? You want peace everywhere, right? Like, And you don't want to ignore places that obviously are having it and it's just uh it just it just bothers me honestly it's just sad and sad and tragic for anybody going through that stuff and uh i pray for everybody obviously i'm thinking of everyone that has to deal with that every day and i i, I feel bad that well, obviously because like what do you expect the people to be educated about if the media doesn't right because the media is so powerful media you cannot underestimate how powerful it is they are always pushing out stuff and doing things and and a lot of times people just listen to that, right? And, you know, it's not right. And, you know, it's very biased and stuff. And uh, stereotypes are a thing. And I don't, like, it's not good. But it is what it is, I guess. And I hope it gets better this week coming up. But I don't think it is. I, I don't know if people are fighting fighting off Ukraine, um, the Russian troops, which there's no way Ukraine could beat Russia if Russia actually tries, right? Like, that's, that's the thing. Like, Russia is a is a powerhouse and like Ukraine's like a baby country if you think about it. If you think about how small they are in in comparison, it's not even close. It's not even close. And like Russia almost surrounds Ukraine. Like by the way the by the way Europe is constructed, the map, like pretty much almost all of it. I think Poland's got a Poland's obviously has a little part of the border, but it's mostly Russia, right? So it's just uh and here's the thing and it, I know I think it's I think you know with NATO NATO has a, a legibility, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if you're watching on YouTube, but I believe you cannot have border disputes to enter NATO, and that's why Ukraine is not in NATO, because of Russia, right? That's the thing, man. It's because of Russia, because of Vladimir Putin, um, that's the reason why they are not in NATO. Obviously, the president is trying to get, um, obviously, NATO to help, but I think how it is, is if they're, Ukraine's a part of NATO, or if any country's part of NATO and there's war happening... NATO and the other countries are, are required to intervene, right? And if the U.S. happens, Putin did say, uh, it's going to be huge ramifications. So I don't know what you do, right? Like, I, I don't, there's not a right answer here, but uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if I'd want to make these calls for anybody. I don't know, but I pray for everybody, seriously. Um, and I hope, and, uh, and I want to talk about some more, like, lighter things and stuff, and... Um, in terms of, uh, I know a little, I don't know, like a way, way off what I was just saying. Um, sneakers coming out this week and stuff. Uh, I know we were, um, was going after uh, some sneakers this week. Uh, the the Air Jordan One Brotherhood. Um, it's based on Michael Jordan's uh, college fraternity, um, Omega Sci Fi. Obviously, Shaq's in it. Vince Carter, um, all of these types of celebrities and stuff, basketball players and all that. I wanted to. Um, I wanted to grab something from there and just uh, and grab it. And I took L's and everything. It was just it was just funny, man. Like I had so many like people like you know Angelo and shit actually hit on it too. And I'm with Soul Savvy, of course. If you watch any of my sneaker reviews and stuff, I always say like I'm with Soul Savvy sneaker community and stuff. So and it's just uh, I have like ways to be able to help myself to get the sneakers, not bots or anything. But it's just uh, yeah, I took an L everywhere because I have big ass feet. I have size thirteen feet, so. I took it out everywhere. My other buddy hit, so I just felt like the only one that was out. But that was a really cool sneaker, man. Honestly, like, I don't know what it is when it comes to Jordans and stuff. I think, like, um, Jordans, like, when they have, like, an inspiration, especially the Jordan 1. But something inspired, like, that, that's another reason why, like, I love sneakers. Like, and or, like, any of y'all love things, right? Like, do you love it for the looks? 
the appearance, the story, the nostalgia, like all that shit combined. Like, what do you like? Like, for me, it's like, yeah, of course, it's the appearance, right? Obviously, it has to do with that. But for me, I'm most driven by how things um, appear, right? Like, like with stories, inspiration. That's what drove me to that sneaker. I just, I just love that stuff, right? Like anything that has inspiration, like means something. I love having that. I just knew I would just regret not going for it if I didn't. And that's what kind of happened. And I don't know. It's just, uh, it is what it is, right? Um, it's good stuff. And uh, it's able to get it. Sneakers are expensive and shit. I'm big into the hats, of course, as you can see if you're watching live but um, on YouTube. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a thing, man. I think I think it's a real thing to be, um, to be collecting and stuff. And collecting things is fun, man. It's always been fun. As a kid, um, just uh, collecting things. I don't know what it is. Like, just trying to have everything. You know what I mean? Just have a cool collection to look at. to pl like to So, like, in the case of sneakers, to wear. Hats to wear. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, say it's that connection to sports. Like, for me, with the sneakers, like I said, like, I love sports. So, like, if it has any, any inspiration to sports, like a sports player wore at this certain time. Or this is why it's made because of a sports person's life and what it was and when it was like in history the 80s 90s 2000s whatever right you know what i mean like just stuff like that anything close to when i was in like 2010s like because that was when i was growing up anything like that is very very special to me and even like hats too like um i'm like like i watch baseball and stuff as you can see this the hat i'm wearing right now is the hat club's ox pack um uh the los angeles dodgers with the dr dre chronic 2001 hat and um, I just love like like inspiration like that, and even just like even just the different logos and stuff. Cause like I watch baseball, right? Like I, I followed it forever, and uh, I love have different logos and stuff, and stuff. And like I play like I'm gonna be the show on the PlayStation and stuff like that, and just uh, stuff that yeah, it's just exciting and stuff. So yeah, honestly, um, just uh, collecting is fun, man. Honestly, it's uh, I, it's something I love, and a lot of people love it. Some people think it's stupid. Obviously, because I've heard some people say, oh, it's just shoes or it's just hats. Like, no, it's not just that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you have a certain connection thing, don't judge people on what they collect, obviously. If it's something creepy, obviously not. But it's just kind of like, you know, collecting shoes, hats, video games, um, clothes, uh, fuck, like Funko Pops. That's a thing as well. Collect any collectible cards, like stuff like that. Whatever you like, honestly, I think... Uh, it's really cool and stuff, and obviously, and to any of the sneaker sneakerheads out there that have sneaker stuff, wear your fucking shoes for God's sake, man. Wear them. That's what they're made for. I wear my shoes. I don't let them just sit there. I wear them, but I take care of them, and uh, yeah, and I enjoy them, right? Because you know, man, that's that's the thing. Like with collecting things too, like you don't want to, man. Like like anything can happen in this life. You know what I mean? Like you can you can go in across the street and like and get hit by a car. Just, just like that. Just like that. You could jump in front of a car. And I don't mean that they bring this dark or depression, uh, any like depression, uh, depressing, right? But I'm just saying like, it's just, that's the reality of life. There's dangers every day. And last thing you want to do is have all these fucking things and never get like fun out of it. You know what I mean? Like wear, like shoes, wear them, hats, wear them. Because anything can happen any day. But take care of them, of course, right? You know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I look at things, obviously. It's just... Kind of one of those things, you know, like you just have to, you have to do that and just don't, don't be that guy that just lets your sneakers just sit and rot. You know what I mean? Like wear them, have fun with them. Hopefully they make you feel good and, uh, bring a little bit of confidence, not overconfidence, but some confidence and just, uh, yeah. And I think that's just kind of what we always aim for and what we, what we want. And, um, our lives are all different and we all do different things and, uh, yeah and uh well i like that was one thing like because what i had like i don't know if i've spoke about it too much here on the channel but i had a house fire back in the end of 2018 right before christmas um and stuff and that gave me like a lot of perspective i think and just um losing a lot of material things because like before then like I, I consider myself a different person like i used to think about things differently not care about certain things and just and that kind of threw everything out of the loop Right, obviously, just kind of said like, "Yo, fucking like." I, then after that, I was more about the experiences and stuff. But, but then I was living in like a rental house for a while in a hotel, and I didn't have a lot of space for things. Right, so 
for like a year and a half, right? So I didn't really have space for, you know, what I liked, love sneakers, hats and all that stuff. And I slowly rebuilt my collection and I was able to put everything away now because I have a lot more space and, you know, it's got to be grateful. Obviously, I work for everything that I have. Everything I have, I work for. You know what I mean? I don't uh, get handed out things. Um, obviously, if something's a gift, it's different. But most things I buy because with my hard-earned money. Uh, same thing with this channel, my mic right here, uh, my camera, all this stuff I've really worked hard for and stuff, and um, I continue to. It's just uh, a thing where I just, you know, I'm working hard, and with this channel, the same thing, right? So just gave me a lot of perspective, you know what I mean? Like, when I did that, and when that those things happen, I just kind of like, man, let's start a YouTube channel, you know what I mean? There's something I always want to do. I always want to do a YouTube channel since I was a kid. Um, it was um, something that... I always wanted to do. I know you're not. I know actually Andre on the channel was always on. We we actually almost started when we were kids. But there's just like you know what I mean. I even had like these little stupid channels and stuff. I used to like talk about games. I talk about sports and do all that stuff. Never really you know do things. But then when I actually started one here, I just started to learn and learn and learn. And then now like uh, definitely at my best right now for sure. But I, it's kind of we're learning, man, as we go along. Uh, I've been doing this for a while now. Uh, nothing compared to what other people have, but I enjoy it. It's so much fun every week, uh, making videos, uh, every day posting and just, uh, hopefully just kind of trying to share some joy with people. Right. And hopefully people resonate with me or something and, and, uh, can see themselves maybe in me and stuff. I don't know, but, uh, always good times on this channel. Really fun. But as I was saying before, it's just, uh, I kind of, yeah, like it changed everything for me. Right. So it's just, um, for the good, right? For the good. And uh, I change. I'm very stubborn as well. Like, I'm not trying to say that I'm always open. Like, I'm mostly open to change and stuff. But it's just, um, you know, you, it, things do eventually change you because it, it forces you to. But um, overall, you can. And, um, yeah. And I'm sorry this is, like, this podcast is going all over the place today. But it's just, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just rambling on. It's just me today. So, and, uh, yeah, man. It's just, uh, it's been fun. And. And with that, what I was saying before, um, I, I love to travel into places. That was kind of a thing that I did. Um, I wanted to get so many experiences. I started hating. I started to like stray away from the materialistic things, right, and just travel more than I was before. And now I am. And then obviously COVID happened. Uh, I haven't been able to do much of that. I think the only thing in the since COVID, the only place I went to was Ottawa. That's the farthest place I've went to. Ottawa, one weekend. That was it. Oh, we, went, we actually did this podcast, episode 20-something, 20 25 with Dale, of course. We did that one. But other than that, I haven't done really anything. Um, and hoping to soon, obviously. Just uh, they finally dropped this lockdown bullshit pretty much. I think in two days, the vaccine passport bullshit is gone, uh, which I'm very happy about. So I've been waiting for for a while. Um, it's going to happen. We're there. Uh, just got to wait a little longer. Um and uh, I was finally able to go to like um, NHL Leaf game. I was able to go on Thursday. That was really fun. Just being out there again with the people and stuff just feels really good. And they dropped even um, PCR tests. They dropped that now. And then now it's going to be rapid tests, which is going to be at airports for time being, whatever. And you can get them with the airline, blah, blah, blah. Super easier, much cheaper. It's going to be much better. I can't wait. Um, hopefully I could travel in March. Sometime in March, I would like to hop on a plane. I would like to, ideally, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But, um, yeah, I know. I'm excited. There's so many places I want to go. Like, I'd love to go back to L.A. L.A. is one of my favorite places. As you can tell, I'm wearing the hat right now. Uh, I just love that place, too. I want to do, too. I want to go. I want to go so many places. Continue to experience things. Uh, make content for the channel. Uh, keep uh, grinding in school. And as well, just, uh, just working on a lot of things. Trying to work on myself and stuff as well. Um, it's going to be fun, hopefully. I just There's so many places I want to go, honestly, though, when it comes to travel. Um, I want to go back to Florida. For sure. I'm a big, like, thing is, I'm, like, big on traveling to um, the States. I'm big on that. I know, like, people say Europe's, like, a different world. And I'm saying I do, but I, I totally agree. I definitely want to go really bad, like, even Asia, like, Tokyo and stuff. But it's, here's the thing, like, it's, um, I'm so... Like, the closest thing we are is, is to America, right? Like, that's the closest. That's our lifestyle, right? It's the closest to the States. So, obviously, you go out there. That's not really our reality. 
But obviously you can't make it a reality. You can live there, but it's just different. It's different. And it's, it's cool. I, I like how places are different, right? Because it's like, imagine if everything was like home. That's just kind of a thing, right? It's just uh, home is always something you want to come back to at the end of the day. You always want to be able to come back but then travel and just kind of have those differences, right? Like travel is almost like an escape, right? You know what I mean? Depending on, like I'm not like a lot of people just love going travel just like to go to the resort or something. But I think, yeah, that, that's that's true. You can like that, but I think it's just, for me, it's just, I just love to like explore and shit, see new things, you know, go to new cities, see different types of people. I think that's kind of what it is. I think that's pure travel for me. I think that's more, I think that that's travel. And I think vacation is more of like going to the resort or whatever and stuff. And that's cool too. Honestly, I like that too, but I just rather go to a city or something like that. I think that's more fun things. That's something I enjoy a little more. Um, and obviously everybody has their own preferences and stuff. I even heard some people that fucking say that like, well, my cousin used to say this before. It's like, oh, like, oh man, traveling, like it's not that like important and blah, blah, blah. Like it's not really that beneficial and stuff other than like just having fun. So I'm like, what are you talking about? You learn so much, man. The knowledge, the experience, just being able to just broaden your mind and to see different things. I think it makes you smarter. I think if you're like the most like smartest person in the world, you're, you stay in one place your whole life. You ain't the smartest person in the world. You're not. You haven't seen other things. You haven't been able to like understand that stuff, right? Because you haven't actually been there. You know what I mean? And try and broaden, broaden your perspective. And I don't think you're the smartest. If you do that, I think somebody that's been to many places, being able to experience that. Obviously, you got to have the, obviously the capital to be able to do that stuff. But being able to see some places, kind of see different perspectives. Really be smart. I think that's the type of smartest person you'll get, right? Like pure smartest person, in my opinion. That's just what it is. And even there's some people I've even heard that's like, oh, I'm just happy where I am. I would, I don't want to travel and stuff. I'm happy where I'm happy where I am. And it's I, that's so dumb. I mean, like I can't even fathom that. I respect the opinion, but it's like I can't. Like I, but that's I don't agree with that at all. I think you gotta you gotta experience things, man. And as hard as it is to get out of your comfort zone, which I have to do as well. Um, trust me, I do. I'm not definitely not, uh, you know, uh, definitely not trying to be like a know-it-all here. So I need to be able to do it too. But just uh, a lot of exciting things to do. I'm excited for it. Super happy about it. And uh, hopefully we can uh, do something soon. And I'll, if I can document it for the channel, I will. Either through like a vlog or something like that. Or through the podcast to talk about it um, instead. I'll, I'll definitely do that. It's just, um, like, it'll depend, right? You know what I mean? Just balance is going to be a thing. Like, I feel like we're, like, I feel like we're out of the pandemic. I feel like we are, um, at least here. I mean, okay, I want to know some places have been out for a while. But here, I feel like we're about to, you know what I mean? Things are starting to change. I hope, I hope so. Canada has been one of the slowest countries, I think, honestly. We're like so like I feel like we're like a laughing stock. That's what started, it's really starts. I love my country. I do. I'm Canadian till I die. I love it so much, but it just it makes me wonder, man. Some of the decisions that have been made, man, in this country, how we've acted and stuff, I just kinda man, it makes me want to just move elsewhere, man, honestly. But I love my country. I'd probably be too too thing. I I, okay, I don't agree with everything in the States, but I would just love to live down in LA and stuff. <laughs> And it's not just the weather. I just love. I just love the vibe, man. So, but yeah, I just. I don't know. I, f I feel like we're on the other end, uh, the other side. I hope we are at least. Um, it's it's tough. It's uh, a situation where it's ever changing. But I hope that we can we can further better ourselves, right, and be almost done, right? Because I'm I'm done, man. I'm, I'm I'm done, dude. This has been a long ass two. It's it's a, gonna be two years soon. It'll be two years, I think, in like a couple weeks. I still remember when uh, me and my cousin, obviously, he's been on the channel as well, Giacomo. We went to Florida. Um, we we did like a cross cross state trip. Uh, it was mainly to watch like the Leafs, obviously, the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, play in their Florida trip that they do every year, usually, right? Because the Tampa Bay Lightning play in Tampa, Tampa, Florida, and then in um, pretty much South Florida, it's called Sunrise pretty much near Miami, um, the Florida Panthers play. So they usually play nearby, right? Like they'll just, they'll, they'll do both their games there. So we flew down to Tampa, um, on like a Monday and we were there for a bit and we drove across, 
uh, the Everglades, and we went to, um, we were chilling in, like, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, like, Hollywood, Florida, and stuff, then we went to the game, and then the next day, we, we jumped out, it was, like, a four or five day trip, super fun, uh, it was the end of, very end of February, it was after my birthday, my birthday was February 19th, so it was at the end of the month, in 2020, and I still remember, I'll never forget this, I will never forget it, um, the girl who I was sitting next to on my flight out of Fort Lauderdale back to up here in Toronto, she was wearing a mask. And I remember seeing some masks, I guess, maybe like in the airport before, but I remember she was wearing a mask next to me. And it was just kind of like, and she was like, maybe, I don't know, maybe like, maybe 18, 19, 20, like me at the time, because I was uh, 20, I just turned 20. So, and I just kind of see that. And I'm just like, what the, like, what? Nah, nah, like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, what? Oh, they're just being like... Because, yeah, I remember, like, before in the past, I remember Ebola was a thing that everybody was like, oh, blah, 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 but nothing ever really too much happened of it, right? Uh, never really heard... Nothing really actually, like, affected us, really. Um, at least me or anybody I knew. But, uh, yeah, that was the first wake-up call. And then, obviously, a week and a half-ish later, fucking everything changed. I still remember when me and my buddy John Luca, we were playing uh, Call of Duty after, like, after one of our, the day after our last class, because we used to have like Monday, Tuesday, I think at school. He said, uh, we're like, we're just playing. And I get a notification from Adrian Wojnarowski, uh, the NBA guy, like the NBA insider. And he's like, um, the NBA has been suspended. Like, I think Rudy Gobert, this player, and uh, Donovan Mitchell, or, like, or it was one of them. They got, they tested positive and just kind of freaked everybody out. And cause we didn't really know what this was, right? Like, really, we didn't really know too much. And it was just happening, and yeah, and like once that happened, the NBA suspended, everything went downhill from there. Everything was like a chain reaction. I couldn't believe that a sports league like really made a chain reaction like that because that was something that they play all over the, the city, right? The, the, our, our continent, they play everywhere, right? So uh, whether it's Toronto, um, well, the NHL is like Vancouver and stuff like that, but then you got like LA, New York, Miami, like all these places all stopping because of that so it's just um crazy to even fathom um and uh hard to believe still to this day it's kind of crazy but um happy for it right obviously that uh we're on the other side hopefully and uh i really uh i really have uh, my thoughts with anybody who actually lost anybody during this like i lost i lost like one or two people not because of that but like around that where we couldn't go in the hospital because of that so just these whole things have been fucked up and stuff. And, you know, I hope uh, we're there on the other side. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for hopefully us to get back to some sort of normal. I don't think everything, anything will get back to exactly the same. I think we'll pretty much get to, to the same. Um, so, yeah, I, I never, I don't think, like, things will be exactly the same. I know people are like, oh, things will never be the same. I'm like, I, I don't agree with that. I, I think things will be generally the same. I think, like. People just, it might be like, like Asia, where like Asia, people used to wear masks all the time. Like it was just more like a courteous thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that might happen. Things might be a little more careful. Like I've heard, like I was born in 2000, right? So uh, the 9-11 attacks in New York um, and everywhere else, um, who I've always been told to me, obviously, um, I've always heard about it and stuff. And many people have always told me that the security checks, for example, at airports were very lax. Like, back in the day, like, they're very lax. You can fucking chill in the cockpit of, of a plane with the pilot. Like, that shit, like, changed everything. So, like, that shit just changed everything. You can't even go in a plane anymore. You can't even do any of that stuff. It's just crazy. Like, crazy to me. Um, it's almost hard to believe and... And just, but I'm used to it, obviously. But it's hard to believe that any of that stuff even happened. Like, now, like, the fucking cockpit's closed off. Like, you can't do that. Like, things are, things are totally different now. Um, to just different times. I'm sure people lived in those times, the 90s, 80s, and up. People probably like, what? Like, I mean, it's crazy, but uh, it's normal now. But I feel like that part of, like, anything that came out of this pandemic will change. Just like the influenza back in the day, it will. And, and it's just... Uh, yeah, I think things will happen that way, and, uh, you know, that's just how we are as humans. We, we change, we evolve, and uh, we add things. It's just, it's just like the same thing with the channel, too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not everything's always been the same for me. I've upgraded things, I've changed things, changed the way I do things, changed the way I talk, changed the way 
I, I do this, um, uh, make videos, like say like I got recording this or recording this, like changing this. Like I'm always changing something. I mean, we're always changing. We're always trying to better ourselves and stuff. And, and I think, uh, and sometimes we, we change things because we believe what is right. And, and sometimes maybe not even for the better necessarily, but you know what I mean? All for different reasons all the time. So I think, um, I think that is important and, uh, something that's interesting. Right. So yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited for the week ahead and uh, future weeks. It's going to get more interesting from here, I think. Uh, excited for uh, The Batman coming out this week. Very excited for that movie um, that's coming out because I'm going to go and check that out um, this week as well. Robert Pattinson finally is the, the Batman. I think we were supposed to get that originally last year, but obviously due to COVID and stuff, I think the filming was delayed back then. So we're finally getting it now. That's gonna be really cool. I think I think he'll already be better than Ben Affleck's Batman. Sorry, no offense. Christian Bale's a goat though, but I think um, it would be uh, really cool to see how Robert Pattinson does. So far, so good in terms of like the trailers and stuff. Zoe Kravitz looks great as Catwoman, of course. Um, it's gonna be a fun movie. A lot of great movies coming up, even in the near future. I've just got Morbius, obviously coming out in April. That was supposed to come out in January, so that one. Uh, is going to happen as well. Doctor Strange, Black Panther 2. I don't know how that's going to work, but uh, then you got even Thor with Natalie Portman being back as Jane Foster. Uh, so many good movies this year, man. Even with shows, too. Like, that's why I was saying, like, kind of we were like crazy before because we had like the Kanye trilogy starting back up. We were finishing off Peacemaker, The Book of Boba Fett. We were starting up the, the new Bel Air Fresh Prince reboot that I'm continuing to do. Just super busy. Tons of great shows coming out as well. That I want to cover potentially. Uh, the Boys prequel series that should be next week. Uh, Stranger Things is supposed to be coming out in two volumes. It's going to be awesome for you guys. Eventually sometime this year, Cobra Kai uh, season five, the next one. Um, what else? Uh, the Boys, obviously the actual season. Season um, season three or four. I can't remember. Um, that. Uh, there's all, there's just a ton of shows to watch and I'm so excited for it. Uh, I love doing those for you guys since we kind of started focusing on that a little bit, just cause people tend to really like what we have to say and they think it's funny or they think we're stupid. I don't fucking know, but, um, yeah, so many, so many good things to be excited for Halo, Halo as well, more Marvel and Star Wars. Oh, Kenobi is going to be crazy, but that's like another thing too, like, um, doing these like TV shows and stuff like. They've really opened up like a lot of like fun times for us because now like we get more extra reason to get together, watch something together. Because a lot of times when you watch things, I don't know about you, but when you watch things, it's kind of like it's like a whatever, right? You know, what I mean, you just watch stuff. It's not the same. I guess like yeah, like when you watch something, it's kind of like oh, you just watch it by yourself. You're at home, whatever, chilling. I watch. It's nice, obviously, but I feel like you. If there's a crazy moment, it's it's great to experience it with your friends, right, and or family, whatever you you want to, and stuff. And the fact that we can do it on the channel, we can make people laugh, make people, you know, what I mean, like to the reactions or stuff, or or like um, interested, whatever, whatever it is. But it's just uh, it's really cool to see because I know like we were kind of wondering. I remember me and Andrew were talking about this. Um, I think uh, my, very many months ago, wondering like why people watch reaction and stuff, and like I do sometimes. Not as much as other people. Some people watch it all the time and stuff. But we were trying to wonder, like, why do people love them so much? And we were kind of like, oh, apparently, like, there's joy in in watching somebody have joy in what you enjoy as well, apparently, like, to watch that. So that kind of makes sense, right, obviously. Um, but then there's obviously, it's not only that sometimes. Some people, if it's not joy, maybe it's, you want to see what people think, right, obviously as well. But in general, I think the majority is you want to see people enjoy something that you enjoy as well right because it's like you know what i mean well we all want to like we all want to like feel good. it's like almost like a like, stupid comedy it's like i love watching i just like to laugh you know what i mean like i think there's nothing better than to laugh you know what i mean that's that's a, it's an amazing feeling to laugh honestly I, I love it i love those super funny movies like super bad step brothers the other guys with uh, will ferrell and, uh, and mark Wahlberg. um I, I i i just love those movies man i love shit that makes me laugh man it's just uh I don't know about you. Those are my favorite types of movies. Like, I love Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars guy. But I think super comedy movies are, are my favorite. 
but the the comedy the stupid comedy thing has kind of died though like the genre just because like comedy is so subjective nowadays yet those same movies really actually hold up to this day which kind of makes no sense like same thing with the office like if you watch the office like with steve carell like there's no way that shit would fly today like there's some of the shit he says like even when i watch it back now i'm just like what the fuck like i'm like what the hell man like how the fuck did he say this but then back then i guess it was just it was different right and just uh yeah it's strange man honestly it's uh it's funny though I, it was good times it was good great shows people still love them people still love those shows they love it like they rewatch i've rewatched the office maybe like three times like I, I fucking love it it's hilarious man like it's hilarious there's something about it man it just seems so like i don't know like those desk jobs aren't the same anymore i guess like people don't really like operate in that that's more of like a past thing but there's still that environment still exists i guess somewhere in some certain places you guys can let me know down below if uh you know, you, you work or you know anybody that works in that kind of like office, the office situation still, like the cubicles and like the office like that. I don't know. Because I know like a lot of times like people have said like, you know, like Google, like you ever see like the way their workplaces are? Like it's kind of like open concept, like benefits through the roof. Like it's just uh, like a healthier way of trying to work. Like you've seen people with like standing desks and stuff and like things have just changed over the years, right? Like we were talking about before, like. Fucking things change, right? It's just kind of what it is, right? And uh, it's interesting to think about. Something that I like, right? Obviously, um, you know, it's uh, funny, but uh, I wouldn't mind working for somewhere like Google. Not gonna lie, man. Google, Amazon, like obviously not working like in a warehouse, Amazon, but like the Amazon, like HQ, like it's like modern companies, like shit that's like like Apple and stuff like that, like things that are pretty. Uh, it must be kind of cool, but. I'm sure they all got their own like issues and stuff too, but at least Google, I think is kind of different because I've even been to the Bay area and stuff and I haven't been to necessarily Silicon Valley, that part I've been to, like Oakland and stuff and obviously San Fran, but I think like I've been told Silicon Valley is just like crazy. Like it's just like technology, man. That's where all like the tech companies reside, right? That's where Google does. Google, um, I just got my pin in from AdSense, uh, which is Google. Um, to get paid and just to verify my address, right? So who, to how I'm going to get paid. So I just had to put like my uh, pin in and it came in from like, yeah, I seen like came in from like San Jose, California or something like that. So, and that's like right there, right? That's uh, Silicon Valley right by San Francisco. So it's just kind of, kind of crazy to think about uh, where we are in this world and how things are changing and uh, just how everything is like just, uh, it's interesting. Honestly, I, I'm always, it always interests me to this day. And, um, and, uh, yeah, uh, the world's crazy, man. A lot of good things, a lot of bad things, a lot of things in between, uh, just stuff, just the way, the way, the way we are. Right. And I hope, uh, we continue to, uh, work, work hard. And that's all you can do. Right. And I just, hopefully the, the world gets better. I know how we started off this podcast today, just, uh, on that dark note, but I, 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 I do generally hope that. We are in the right direction and you know what I mean? I don't want that to stop anything that we do. Be happy, obviously. Um, that's the goal, man. Peace, love, everything. Everything about it. Um, that's the goal. Always should be. Nothing less, nothing more. Um, just something that I always strive for and stuff. And uh, and yeah, guys, man. This was um really fun podcast to do today. Uh, it was just me. I'll, be, I'll have somebody on next week, so don't worry. Um, and I'm not looking to take any weeks off anytime soon. Obviously, if it happens, my apologies. Uh, things happen. Um, and um, it's just one of those things, right? Like, I'm, I don't intend to, but sometimes it happens. And it um, just depends on the weeks, man, honestly. I love it, doing the podcast. It brings me back. I know it doesn't do as well viewership-wise, but I still enjoy doing it because I want to do it, right? You know what I mean? I don't just do content that makes other people happy. Like, I want to do what I want to do, right? It's my channel, right? I want to make the content I like, so yeah and um thank you all guys for listening watching whatever you're doing obviously if you if you have me in your ear or you're actually watching physically on your tv or on your phone appreciate you as always um and if you want to continue listening to the podcast um as i always say we are on spotify apple podcasts um and all anchor related streaming platforms so anchor has a ton of streaming platforms so you can change it up try things there totally up to you um 
and as well obviously here on youtube we upload almost every single day um and uh, this week's actually a light week honestly for our standards so just uh not too much coming out but hopefully you enjoy what what does and um and yeah guys and uh don't forget obviously even if you if you want to check us out on tiktok instagram i usually have widgets popping up always on the screen so you can check us out on there as well i post a lot on tiktok now any little clips from these videos and stuff podcasts uh i usually toss on there and on instagram and stuff so um if you want to follow me whatever vince underscore you'll tell you on instagram i'm posting almost every single day something uh I love sneakers, love hats, love sports, so I'm usually just post something like that or talking about our videos and stuff. So, yeah. So, but uh, anyways, guys, like I said, thank you all for listening in, watching, everything. As always, I love y'all, every single one of you. Um, and uh, and I'm signing off. We are going off the rip. This is a wrap for episode 37 of the Rip. Take care, guys.